Hi guys and hope doing well. Today I try to check exactly how can I make Limi the current in most of project we need to current the input voltage and it is very simple by doing with PNP transistor. Of course we have a lot of ICs especially for current limit but now we are talking about simplest way the most simple way is the PNP transistor I tried a lot of transistor but and now I will show you four type of transistor and here is the schematic that I draw to well know exactly how we are able to make current limitation so you can see here is the PNP transistor and this is very easy to connect the collect the emitter pin to the positive I use 3.3 .3 volt and the emitter to the uh, I'm really sorry the collector to the output and finally the base over one kilo ohm resistor to 22k pot like my project this is my 22k pot 1k resistor and the other breadboard is the load I make 20 or 15 piece of the LEDs to make a load and uh, finally the LEDs voltage coming from this um, multimeter in milliamp then I can know exactly how much is the current current and when I am try to adjust the current level I can see exactly how it is limited and how can I choose best transistor when I have a lot of transistors so this is 22k pot and this is a schematic one more time and here is the tested transistor I'm going to check BC535 going to 200 milliampere will check BC557 is the a most regular and multi-purpose PNP transistor BCY7470 is also working very stable 120 milliampere and finally this teeny small transistor is very good for the small project is the name is 1348 is going 30 milliamp it's very easy to limit this transistor okay very good so I'm going to check at first I'm going to test the first transistor it is BC535 yeah. if you don't want to use the LEDs it's much better to use one 4.7k of resistor like this and it should be in huge size big size because of the loads may be going up and you need the stable resistor because of it may be going to work so I'm connecting the um, load to this 4.7k ohm resistor and by the part I can adjust exactly the level of current now is 2.47 and going down very well yep the BC535 working from 250 to um, 21 20 million 
is very good for this small type of PNP resistor, a transistor, and also is not hot. Also with the 250 milliamp. Also the resistor is also very well. For the next test, I'm going to the tiny transistor. I told you the name is 1348. You can see the level of current is 3.30 milliamp. When I'm adjusting the volume, yeah, it's going up to 38 or 39, the 40 maximum. Yeah. One more time. So for the projects that we should or we need to limit the current, the current till uh, 3 milliamp or 4 milliamp, this transistor is the best one to use. And the next test is famous BC555. This one. If you need to know exactly the pinout of the Transistor is very really easy to use with this transistor tester. I have one uh, one video how to make this transistor tester with the Arduino or any other micro. You can look at and I will show you how to find out the transistor pins. Yeah, it's very really easy. But this is NPN. But so this is the pinout and the other way to find out. The pinout for the transistor is the PDF file. You can see the BC555. This is the data sheet and you are able to use exactly this information to know uh, how is the uh, current support for each transistor. Okay, and the last test is BCY70. This is the old style transistor. It's not uh, easy to find this, I think. It's working from 10 milliamp and going to 130. It's very, very good and stable transistor. Look, it's very nice to adjust and tune the level of current. Very easy. Start from 10 VM to 130. And this is one more time the dummy load resistor for arc 7. is not hard to find, it's very easy. Of course, you can use the a small version of the resistor, but it's much better to use this one to have very safe and nice current limitation test. Hope to enjoy this video. Thanks for watching. Let me know your idea about this project. Goodbye.